Hey guys, how's it going? So finally getting around to doing the question and answer video. It's taken a little while. Had a few things happening. I'll touch on that in a later video when I'm ready to talk about what's been happening there. But I do want to start this video with some news that I'm now partnered up with another YouTube channel with a couple of mates of the show they're doing is it Rugby League Outlaws uh, I'm the roving reporter for that I'll put the link to the first episode in the description it'd be really great if you go check that out give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel so you can see when all the new episodes go up I'm really happy to be doing that it's an honour to be asked by my mate Dan to take part in it and be involved. Got a lot of great ideas coming up for it. I've been writing a few things down for me to, for me to be doing with it and to help them out as well. So head over there and check it out. As I said, link is in the description down below. But getting on to the question and answers. So, I didn't get a heap of questions, but I've got enough to get through. But uh, one of the ones that not really got sent through, I've been asked a few times, is the camera that I'm using now. I did start my stuff just on my phone, but obviously there's only so much storage space you can have on your iPhone or any phone, if you've got a Samsung or whatever. So, a couple months ago, months ago, when I got some, got my tax back, I actually went out and purchased this camera. It's uh, the Sony CyberShot WX500 DSC. It's a great camera, as you can probably see from the quality. I haven't used it actually at a game yet. I'm. Uh, Looking at trying to do that, obviously, with the A-League starting up now and the rugby league coming back next year and trying to get out to some AFL games. I've got a couple other th ideas that I want to do for videos going forward. Just got to try and work on that and see what I get. But if you've ever, if you ever th thought or th had thoughts of what camera I'm using, that's the camera I'm using. Can't recommend it but anymore. It's really simple camera to use. It goes really well loading things up onto my laptop and also using the editing software that I use. So you would have seen some posts on my social media, hopefully, of when I've edited a couple of videos. So the editing software I use, it's a free one, OpenShot. It's really nice, simple. Uh, obviously, using my phone, I used iMovie to begin with and then shifting up into this. It's really simple to understand, really easy to get a, get a hold of, and to be able to piece the videos together. It was a bit different at the start, obviously, learning a new soft, learning some some software like that. But I find it so much easier now to do it on that, and just the transfer quality I found in my last couple of videos is a lot better. But going on from that, there's a couple of other questions I got asked in regards to just random things. Uh, I got asked about why I support the teams I do. If you go back, you can see videos I've made in the past talking about why I go for, say, Charlton Athletic, St Kilda. Pretty sure I've got, an, got one for LAFC. Wearing this with pride after today, won the Champions League semi-final against Club America. Onto the Champions League final, I think it's Wednesday our time. So I won't, I won't be able to watch it live, I'll have to watch it replayed, because I'll be at work. And given this is the week heading into Christmas, it's going to be a busy week. But looking forward to watching that game. If there's any other teams you want me to want me to, to go into detail on my support, let me know. 
that'll give me a couple more videos to come out, given that then, even though it's going to start getting busy now with all the sports coming back, I'm happy to do different videos like that to give you guys what you want to see uh, with some of the other ones. Um, here we go. State, what about State of Origin? That was on, left as a comment on the video asking for the questions from Brandon. Um, I did explain in a video why. I won't go too into depth here because I did really went into depth on that. Again, I'll put the link for that down below. I think, I think for me, the reason, as I said in that, is I don't really watch State of Origin purely because I think there needs to be more focus put on the international game with like the emerging nations, like all the Pacific Islands, like Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Tonga, Samoa. They're all starting to get up there, but I think we need to put more effort into that as the game of rugby league. But how, how long will it be before that happens? I don't know. I'd love to see it soon. I'd love to see them take away all the money that they do put into State of Origin, put that into the, into the back into the game and more or less see who's there for the money and who's there because they want to be there. I think part of the problem is they get paid so much to play Origin that it takes away the chance for the developing nations, the second tier nations in international rugby league stick pyramids to have those players play for those countries so I think we need to look at changing that around a bit to fix that up and then I th oh, there was also another question left on one of my channels which is talking about like bringing back the fighting like well not so much the fighting but bringing back the biff I think looking back on older games the referees handled it a lot better and a lot differently I think one of the big things, I think it was in the lead up to the grand final, just seeing some of the old games on Fox League. One of the things I saw, there was a game, I can't remember what game it was. Uh, Bill Harrigan was refereeing and it got a bit heated. I think the way he handled it is the way it needs to be held in regards to, he's seen it happen, let it go for a little bit, ended it, pulled the two captains over and said, all right, boys, out of the system now, it's done. Next person sits down. I think if you have not so much bring back the biff in terms of what got it canned, but I think if there are punches thrown, you have to go. But if it's the melee, like the push and shove the and all that, if it's one-on-one, one -on -one, fine. If it gets any more than that, the players have to go. But I think we need to try and bring that back in because I think there's too much now of the standoff pushing and shove like hugging for lack of a better term and I think it could potentially also eliminate a bit of the wrestling hopefully but that's just a way I think we could bring bring back the biff in, in a way but again I don't want it to go back to to what it was when it got out, outlawed. There's a whole bunch of rules that I would want to change. I think, of, again, another video that I've touched on, but that was ages ago. I'll, another one for the link in the description. But hopefully in about 12, hopefully in less than 12 months or in around 12 months, or maybe you're doing another one of these Love to get more questions in for that one. Let me know what you what you thought of this video. See, see how long it'll be before we do another one. If you enjoyed what you've seen, like the video, subscribe. If you're new around here, turn that bell on. Be notified when I upload. But as I always say, keep living a great life. Peace.